Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a MAC attack where I only use MAC products. I still use my Sigma, Zoeva and Morphe brushes because let's be real people, but if MAC Cosmetics is most accessible to you and you want to know how I got this look with MAC products only, then please keep on watching. I was a little annoyed here because my camera wasn't filming whilst I was doing my brows, priming my lids and starting off a transition shade in my crease. But all good, in my previous videos I have all that. After blending out saddle in the crease I use Antique which is a gorgeous shimmery rust shadow and I just pat that on my lid all the way up to saddle. I take a soft brown which literally is a soft brown and just place that above saddle to further blend it out. To deepen the look I take Core Duroy and using the tip of my brush place it directly in the crease. To create a more duochrome look, I take rice paper, which is a soft shimmery gold and place it right in the middle of the lid and blend out the edges. This step is so easy to do, but it looks like so much effort is involved. I'm just highlighting the inner corner with nylon, which is a super pale gold and swirling it in there with a fluffy brush. This would have to be my favourite foundation from MAC. It's Studio Sculpt and the colour I use here is NC30 because I'm not that tanned at the moment. I really like the creamy texture of it. It's medium weight and medium to full coverage. It also is the perfect balance of a natural satin finish. You see here how much I love it because my skin looks absolutely flawless. I lightly set it with the Prep and Prime translucent powder, just with a big powder brush. Then to highlight, I use the Pro Shaping Powder in Emphasize, and to contour, I use the Sculpting Powder in Sculpt. You can't purchase these in store without a Pro card, or I don't even think in Australia but I got them online through my freight forwarder which I pay a small fee to and she purchases and sends me what I want to purchase. The length I go to, I know, but it's the only way to get some products which you can't get here in Australia on a regular basis. I'll link her details in the description bar below. To warm up my face, I go in with a mineralized skin finish in medium deep, just on my cheeks and my temples. Then for blush, I lightly use Peachy Keen, which is a sheer shimmery baby peach tone. For my lower lash line, I build up those three shadows we used earlier, soft brown, saddle and corduroy and blend it out with a fluffy brush. For the highlight, I use the ever so popular Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish, which is the perfect blend of peach and bronze. I love this stuff. I use my finger to apply it because it makes it more pigmented when you use your finger. Then I blend out the edges with a duo fibre brush and make all those cheek products melt into one. I apply it to my cheekbones, the lower half of the bridge of my nose and the side of my nose. I do this because when you turn your head to the side, naturally that's where the light hits. Thank you. 
Next, I'm applying top and bottom lashes. The top are number 43, which are bundles and look super wispy and fluffy. And the bottom are also bundles, but they don't have a number on them. I think on the website, they look like number 40, but they are very similar to the House of Lashes Precious. So I'll link those below. Then I decided to go for a warm neutral lip. So I'm lining my lips with oak. I'm slightly overlining them in the middle. If that's not your thing, then just stick to your natural lip line. Then I go in with Velvet Teddy, which is a deep beige, and I'm just filling them in. And that's the finished look. Let me know in the comments if you'd like more one brand of looks, and what brands you would like to see me use. Please like and subscribe and see you in my next video.